He said, so if I may ask you, what are you preparing for? I said, trouble. And he said, but you're preparing your audience by going to your audience every day and saying there's a political solution. I think you're misguided. He said, because you know, you can't, even the best politician, he said, there's massive trouble coming on the horizon just for us, what we've done. He said, but you know what the, what the Islamists believe. He said, you know that they are trying to bring about Armageddon. You know that they believe that chaos and washing the world in blood will bring about Armageddon. He said, you also know that there has never, ever been a, an alliance between Iran and Russia. And he said, you also know, because I've listened to you for a long time, he said, you also know that that is Gog and Magog. He said, now, a lot of people have said in the past that, oh, hey, you know, uh, Jesus is coming. And he said, I'm not suggesting that Jesus is coming anytime soon, but I'm not. But I am suggesting I wouldn't be surprised. He said, things seem to be fulfilling prophecy. And on top of that, he see, he said, you're seeing massive movement of people of faith in a way unlike ever before. You're seeing great persecution coming. He said, so you, what you're doing is you are all standing against the hurricane. And they said, now think of the hurricane that is coming to Mexico. Why do you not believe in the global warming experts? Why do you think that's so ridiculous? I said, for several reasons, but one, they think that it's man-made and we can change it with money. He said, what makes you different? Because you're talking about another kind of storm that is coming. And you're telling your audience, you know, with the right amount of money, with the right strategy from man, maybe this guy can solve it. He said, you're just as ridiculous as anybody who believes that global warming with trillions of dollars, it will change the weather patterns. The storm is coming. There's nothing you can do to change. The storm is coming. I was pretty depressed by that. But then he smiled. And he said, but you know the storm is coming. We've been praying about the storm coming. It's just our turn now. So if those things are indeed true, he said, you have to start preparing people to weather that storm, not to change the storm, to weather that storm. That's what I, that's what I've been feeling, but I haven't, I think expressed it that openly. And I don't think that I have expressed it, um, I don't think I've said, I don't believe in the political system. I just don't. I do believe that we have to pay attention to what's going on. I do believe we have to support the good people there. I do believe we have to really pay attention to the presidential election. One more presidential election with the wrong guy and we are done. And we have, uh, we do have a chance of not being done. But I don't think we have a chance of turning the storm around. The storm is coming.